Bro, I can't even lie. I'm so, so stoked for King Carson's A Great Chaos. Like, he finally shows the release date, Friday the 13th. And you already know that the whole vibe of the project is just supposed to be, I guess, kind of like grunge rap or something like that. But man, I'm actually so, so stoked. Like, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to drop it, like, July 17th or whatever. Like, he made that, that Twitter post and... You know, like all of the Apple emojis, he used the calendar one, and it said the 17th on it. I don't actually know if that was supposed to be the release date of it, but I do know the project is finished. He's been doing a whole media run. He's just ready to drop the project, and I think the actual reason why the project never dropped was straight up just because of, you know, he just didn't have a TikTok hit. He didn't have the hype for it, but finally, like honestly, finally. We get the release date, Friday the 13th in October. And definitely has a whole spooky vibe to it. Even if you just look at the, the cover art for it, it's just like super grunge. Like I can't even really explain it. Like it's just super grunge looking, you know what I mean? And I remember he, he announced the release date, or not the release date, the, the track list of it. Um, I think a few months back, like with with tracks called the intro, Jennifer's Body. I think Jennifer's Body was actually like a a highly anticipated snippet. You know, like I don't really like check out the snippets like that just because it's just like I end up giving myself snippet syndrome. Like with the Uzi snippets, like I don't know. Like say for an example, you know the song um, Pluto to Mars. Like I've been waiting for that song for like two to three years. And I finally dropped him a little Uzi Vert to pink tape. And then I just overplayed the snip way too much. And I just kind of ruined it when it officially came out. So I just try not to really listen to the snippets that often. I mean, like for Ken Carson's case, the Great Chaos snippets, I've definitely checked them out. But I haven't been like memorizing the words and, you know, all that stuff. Like I remember Hardcore. Hardcore was a pretty fire snippet. Another one on the track list is pouring out that syrup. Singapore, I remember that snippet. It's over. I've definitely seen that one on my Twitter timeline a few times. And then track number seven is Drugs Talking. Track number eight is Like This featuring Destroy Lone and Little Uzi Vert. That one's going to be fire. And then track number nine is Paranoid featuring Destroy Lonely. And this one, this snippet has just been very, very highly anticipated. And this one's kind of hard to ignore, not hearing the snippet or seeing it on your timeline. So I've definitely heard this one a lot. And then the track ended up leaking. I think it was like two two days ago. Yeah, it was like two days ago it leaked. And a lot of people were kind of disappointed just with it not being sped up. Because the sped up version, Paranoid, Destroy Lonely, and King Carson was... Uh, it was kind of like a remix for TikTok and stuff like that, and a lot of people were disappointed. But the, I think the snippet or the the snippet and the leak is pretty fire. I don't know how this is gonna affect the Great Chaos by Ken Carson, but it's definitely supposed to be in the project. Track number ten is Interlude. Track number eleven is Fyt for Young Thug, and this is a leak track, which is absolutely insane. In my opinion, I think it's one of Ken Carson's best leaks by far. Like, it's an insane, insane leak. Because what Ken Carson did is he dropped Lost Files 4, which is, like, him accidentally on purpose or just pretty much leaking, you know, like a project on purpose. And it was Lost Files 4 and Free Young Thug. Crazy good track. Just crazy. Just the atmosphere in it. Just the... The synth beats, like, I, I can't even explain it. It's just so good, man. Track number 12 is so dark. Track number 13 is self-titled King Carson and then the outro. But there's also been other other tracks that he's previewed that may be in the project. And this track list, like I said earlier, he released this track list, like, a few months back. Right when the project was supposed to drop July 17th. So a lot of things could actually change. So, I mean, I hope it doesn't. Because I don't think he should bloat the track list. Kind of like what Destroy Lonely did. Because it looks like Kill was definitely... Definitely something. Like, you had, like, some 12 to 13 really strong tracks. But it's just way too long. Like, 26 tracks for a project is just way too long, in my opinion. Like, 
if you just would have taken off like 13 of those tracks and left like 12 or something I think it would have been probably the album of the year like on god like 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 the song Passenger Brazy Girls Fly Shit were just all really really good tracks but yeah King Carson right now is sitting at 4.5 million monthly listeners um I think it's time for him to drop like I don't know I think October 13th is a little bit late um maybe the the track Paranoid Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson will pick up some more steam on TikTok and then he'll get the hype going for his project but I think he should have been dropped this project like I mean it would make sense that he drops a great chaos October 13th Friday the 13th because he's going on tour November 19th you know the antagonist tour and this whole tour got pushed back and some people said the rumor was just because of the the Playboy Cardi Killers League. So you just never really know what's actually going on with the whole OPM label. But I mean, it would make sense. He did post on Twitter October thirteenth, Friday the thirteenth. So I'm I'm definitely here for this project. It just feels like it's a little bit too late. You know what I mean? But yeah, Friday the 13th, we can finally, finally get a great chaos in my ears, man. Like, I need this project. It's just been way too long. But I guess we'll find out um, Friday the 13th.